All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 48. All right. So finally, on a new line after our second label, we're going to create another input element. Uh, we'll give this a, pardon me, we'll give this one a type attribute set to number, a min attribute set to zero to ensure negative calories cannot be added, a placeholder attribute set to calories, and an ID attribute that matches the for attribute of our second label element. Okay. So what we're going to do here, we'll just take this, uh, 24 right here. Let's take it from the end of 24 all the way to uh, 23, the end of 23. Copy that. Let's drop it off after this uh, closing angle bracket of the closing label tag. All right, just like that. And let's uh, change up what it says to change up. So we'll change up this uh, type to number right here. Number, all right? Uh, we'll put the, what is it? Min after that, min equals uh, double quotes. Whoops, 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 whoops double quotes like this with a zero in it. All right. Uh, and then we're going to give it the placeholder set to calories. So let's uh, take this calories here and drop it here. All right. And the ID attribute for the four attribute. Okay. So we'll just take this calories right here and change this name right here. Right. And that should take care of it. Uh, let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right, now we're on to step 49 and we'll see you next time.